So Kaylee, right? Yes. Okay, so Kaylee, you are here to talk to me a little bit about your nose. Yes. So let's talk about it. I do the same thing that I always do. So we're going to start with, you're going to look at uh, your nose and I'm going to look at you looking at your nose and we're going to talk a little bit about it. You never had any um, accident to the nose. This is the nose that you were born with and you really like this nose and you said, geez, there's one thing, if maybe two things that I don't love about this nose and I'm mm -hmm. guessing one is this little bit of a bump here and then the bridge looks like it kind of goes a little bit to the left and it leaves a little bit of an indentation right here. Yes. Right? Okay. Totally right here. Yeah. Perfect. And this is something we can definitely do without surgery. It's going to be injecting a dermal implant under the tip of the skin. And you can see right here what I'm going to do. I'm going to basically just lift that tip and see when I just do this, it makes a big difference. So instead of adding an, a, an implant like we did in the old days, we would cut and then put an implant. I'm going to inject the implant and mold it where the tip of this nose is going to look just like this, which is perfect. And then I'm going to make this match up to that, to that bridge right here. So you're not going to see this uh, hump right here. And then I'm going to go just above it slightly. So it looks like it's all on one plane through here. And it's going to divide your face from the left and right. Okay. What do you have questions about this procedure? Does it hurt? Does it hurt? I'm not going to feel a thing. And you are <laughs> going to feel just a little bit of pain when I do the local anesthesia. I'm going to add a little bit of lidocaine. And it's going to numb the area. And you're not going to feel anything after that. The downtime is almost nothing. You're going to walk back over to work right after the procedure and no one's ever going to know. They're going to see you with this nice new nose and, okay. and that's it. Where do you inject the, the like, to numb it? Like, where are we injecting? Uh, where do they look? So probably somewhere on the top right here where the hump is. Since this is the one structure that I'm not going to touch, I'll probably inject right here and bubble this up. And then I'll know from here, I'll, I'll put the needle in and then I'll inject from here all of this. So you're not going to feel any of this. Okay. Wow. Good yeah. finance. It's going to be very nice. So okay. the product we're going to use is last about two years. And then at that time, at two years, you can say, okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, my face has changed. I'm two years older. Maybe the nose that we gave you that fit your face today is going to be slightly different. Right? Okay. So then I can go back in and tweak it. And this is why the, the beauty of what we do is we make your nose fit your face. Right? Mm -hmm. um, if you say, geez, you know, could I do something that lasts a little bit longer? We'll talk about it. So we we have other you know materials that we can use. Now, does it dissolve? Like, how does it? Is it just one day it's gone? Like right. Well, it, it it starts to slowly get reabsorbed. So what we use is radius, which is calcium hydroxylapatite. So imagine crushed up bone or crushed up tooth enamel into microspheres, one millionth of a millimeter, very very small, and then you put it in a gel carrier. So once I inject it, the uh, gel carrier is absorbed by the body within seven days and it leaves this little bit of sediment. And your body builds collagen. Your body builds collagen around these microspheres and it sort of grabs a hold of them and sort of pushes it up. So it puts back the, the, the volume that I gave you to a certain point. Now over time, that microsphere begins to be absorbed by your body. When it, goes, it gets absorbed, the collagen sometimes starts to absorb as well. So it'll start going back to the starting place where you started. So probably right about a year and a half, you'll see the depression start to come back and slowly. So when you see it slowly going away, you say, perfect, come back in and we'll do the same thing again. Okay. And I think the, sti the stigma with getting plastic surgery is you now have something that's not yours. What I do is taking what you have and making it better. Right? Okay. So, it, so the mindset of the patient that comes to me is different. So if someone says, oh, I hate this face, don't come to see me. I don't need to see that person. But if you say, I like this face, what I wish this face looked a little better. Or people yes. look in the mirror and they say, man, I just, if I just got rid of, perfect. Right, okay. small stuff. So it's not gonna like hurt too bad after like two No happens, way, right? no way. I mean, I've been doing this seven years. Not one person has ever called me for pain medicine, not one. Okay. I mean, Tylenol if you need it, but you're not gonna feel anything. Okay. Um, yeah, it's gonna be very nice, very okay. easy. You're gonna put some makeup on, go right back to work. Okay, yeah. Okay. Good job. Excited. You're gonna turn out really well. <laughs> I'm excited for you. This is a great nose, and I'm glad that you let me do it. <laughs>